Titanic in the building. I am a few minutes late, but that's okay. I'm here. I try not to be late. How is everyone doing, you guys? Listen, I'm going to do house rules. House rules, you guys know that everything is allegedly on this channel, right? Everything for educational and entertainment purposes, right? And uh, I don't own any rights to any music if it pops up. And uh, I just want to say welcome, 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 you guys. Welcome to the home of Black Titanic. Hey, my Linda Gamma. Linda Gamma is so dependable. Uh, all the... Um, all the house, not the housewives. <laughs> oh, I don't know what Pinky's still asleep, but me and Pinky have been talking. I was talking to Pinky when I was coming from the courthouse. She had to do some kind of work for me. I woke her up, so hopefully she'll come, y'all, and join me. But, uh, y'all, these people on Love and Marriage Huntsville is something else. 
I be trying to do other content, but they keep me so busy. Arlita Jordan. Arlita Jordan became a member and trended at some point. Um, it's a content creator. You guys make sure y'all follow her. Look, 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 look. Is this Keisha Williams? Your all your books keep coming back. I don't know if that's I know KC sent me uh order a book today. I saw that on my email. I don't know if you I think Keisha William is kids. Some of y'all I don't know who it is, but whoever Keisha William is, please the second time it came back. You keep saying you haven't gotten your book back, but they are saying at the uh post office that this uh, uh this address don't exist. So if you are Keisha William right here i tried to mail it again today this time it didn't go off at all i had them to check and they say keep saying no uh address so what you need to do keisha william is get with me in my um my email and me and you gonna talk through the email oh my god i didn't mean to put your address on the thing i hope y'all didn't see that <laughs> i didn't mean for you to do that oh my god Sorry, Keisha William. But anyway, you guys, uh, how you guys doing? Pretty brown eyes. Send it to me. I don't know what y'all talking about. Sexy mama at six years old. Yeah, I just love that. She going to be sexy all her life. Uh, Queen, uh, I like it when you guys are so friendly with each other. Sex, uh, Queen uh, Linda Gamble said hi to Queen Snyder. Good morning, everybody. Grand rising, you guys. Uh, Rue Jones, ladies in red, is so pretty, Miss Black Titanic. You guys always make me feel good about myself. Hey, Patricia Ellis Robbins. Hey, darling, how are you? Um, Miss O'Neill, hello, 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 hello. Well, we got a lot to talk about, y'all. I had no, I, I went down there to court for something else and ended up getting something back. Y'all just don't never know about these people. Do y'all remember when I went to court for Monso? I thought I was going down there for Zen Garden and end up it was a whole new different lawsuit. It was the man, uh, he was trying to sue the man to get his house, get that house that he, he'd been lost. Pretty Brown Eyes is here with a beautiful self. She's a content creator. Oh yeah, welcome all the content creators, you guys. Hopefully, uh hopefully um Pinky will wake up. She I had woke her up because she was doing some investigator report to me while I was down there in the courtroom. But anyway, Zandy, hey Zandy, uh Mr. Boomer. What kind of last name is that African? Masamuka. Hey, Miss Black Tanner. Oh, South African. Okay, Miss. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Uh, Miss O'Neill, legs, hips, and breath. Yeah, yeah, it's O'Neill. Oh, Catherine, she, you guys, y'all, y'all, I'm just so proud of y'all. Uh, hey, Mary, thank y'all. This book club gonna be, she could become a YouTube member, and the book club gonna be about acknowledging our ancestors that they forget in history y'all we're gonna do a lot because i'm limited to what i can say to y'all about y'all history on on the youtube street i want to get really really deep i mean deep deep with you guys but i ha i can only do the surface here but let's get started now i did uh y'all know about that brawl the lady spoke up and she got fired uh, i can't remember her name but uh anyway i got on a video we're gonna start with the brawl first T talk with your girl. That's another content creator. I love it when y'all support me. This old lady, love your hair. Please always remember to be safe dealing with those people. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got it. Yeah, I don't ever. I be safe, thing. Thank y'all. But anyway, let me just give y'all a little brief thing before I, I I go there. We're gonna do the lady. She got um fired from her job for helping um. 
Ooh, I forgot his name, but it'll come to me. Y'all remember the brawl? She actually worked there. She was the one that threw the lady in the water. They fired her. And she was an older woman, too. She looked like she like in her 50s or 60s. I'm like, Lord. And that young girl was over there kicking the man in the head. They did not want, the men did not want to hit them ladies, but them ladies went, went back off, y'all. And uh, so she went over there and she helped the guy out, pulled the guy off, and the lady started fighting her. So she just picked her up and threw her in the water. I'm like, woo Y'all think these senior citizens ain't, ain't got no strength, but we do. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if y'all seen that, but yeah, I don't know how to, how, I wish somebody could start a GoFundMe, you guys, for her. She actually don't have no job. She have no job, and that's how we have to do. We have to be on code like they are. Y'all remember Kyle Rittenhouse? Kyle Rittenhouse killed them people, right? They were on code. They were on code because Kyle Rittenhouse oh, had killed those people. All of them was on code. That mom, that man got over a million dollars for killing somebody. And then now he was not only on code with the people in the streets that donated all that money, but when he went to court, he was on code with the judge. The judge went out his way to make sure that, that he got out for free. So we need to be on code. These people, uh, uh, they don't have no job. She don't have no job. And then the little 16-year-old boy don't have no job. They fired them. And she was saying that, of course, the boss is a clear color woman. She didn't care when they were when they were beating on on their coworkers. She did not care. She said she didn't say not one word. But soon as they that boat landed and they jumped off that boat to help help um help him, she said that all of a sudden, you know, she said it was wrong. She said when he was down, Damien, that's his name, she said he like a son or grandson to her. Said, oh, she thought he was dead when he hit that ground. That's what she said. And they could have killed him because y'all know that if y'all go back and watch that tape, they were going for that man's head. They was kicking that man in his head, especially the women's. Yeah, so... Um, how can I order your book, Miss Nah? Just go to my uh just send me your shipping address, fifteen dollars, and uh you send it to the email. My email address is just black titanic at yahoo.com. Send your shipping order and the fifteen dollars you they usually cash at me the fifteen dollars or um or PayPal me the fifteen dollars and I ship the book. I ship three of them off today. And like I said, Miss Keisha William, you keep saying when you gonna get your book. I done tried twice to send it, and they keep it keeps coming back that this nobody don't exist in this address. So I don't know. Maybe you need to use somebody else's address. When we when I get back to my email, we'll go over the address again to make sure I'm seeing it right. Make sure I'm not doing nothing. But anybody don't get their book, don't hesitate to let me know, y'all. I want to give it to y'all as fast as possible, right? Get your books out. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Y'all don't know the hell I went through about this book about the Black Titanic because you know they 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 on call with each other. That that Titanic has its own foundation. Is they it went down as history as one of the luxury boat and uh so they don't want that they don't want us to talk about our ancestors that was on there. They don't want us to tell the truth course you know the same people was on the titanic reflect the society and that was in 1912 so we're talking about and what that remind me of around that dock that dock that they were fighting at is a slave trade dock you had a lot of our ancestors energy in that water you guys i always pray i always pray and honor those our ancestors that was in the water we have not only our, 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 not only this earth, the land is soaked with our ancestors' blood. The water is too. We have the water tomb. 
a water term for our ancestors. A lot of them jumped overboard because they did not want to be slaves. A lot of them did. Y'all don't know the millions of them that jumped overboard. And uh, yeah, around that dock right there, they said going down Commercial Drive, everybody knew that if you were going down Commercial Drive, uh, that you know that you were going to be sold. They said they sold little children on it as early as two years old. And I always feel like, I always feel allegedly, if they get them children as young as two years old, they allegedly probably pedophiles. Cause what can a two year old do for you? They can't work, can't produce nothing. Piss me off when I, I was reading it about the two or two years old, one year old, uh, that they buying off the off the deck and pulling away from their mother. Mary White, y'all. That 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 bra just reminded me of my ancestors that that was uh that had to jump overboard a lot of them uh during slavery time. Some of them were they said that uh, some of them women would be nine months pregnant. They would throw them overboard. They would throw them overboard because that's on their way from Africa. Some of the pregnant women, they just throw them, throw them away because they were not able to help out or produce. And uh, yeah, it, it's sad. All now, all now, look, all this festivity going around around that dock now. When all that dock right there in that water held so much pain and suffering of our ancestors, they don't even think about it. They even got. I looked it up. They said they even got statues now where they being they honor they honoring they the people that um that enslave us. And I know this off the subject, y'all, but y'all know, y'all know, black people love that song, uh, Amazing Grace. Y'all love that song, Amazing Grace, and Amazing Grace was, uh, th that son was birthed out of slavery. He was so glad that, that, that he said that Jesus had gave him that job to persecute, torture black people on that ship. That's what that song is about. And uh, what they did was they took out some of, some of the words to it. They took out some of the words about the slaves and how he was happy that he was able to be in charge of torturing them slaves. So that's what Amazing Grace is about. It's so, and even the, um, the Star Spangled Banner too, that one too, they took that one out too about the, uh, the, the part about the slaves. So y'all know if they were written in 1800, we, it, it was nothing good that they were written for us. It was for their own benefit. So Mary White said, I'm angry about how they did our ancestors. Yeah, we need to be angry. We need to be angry. They teach you. They teach you in the Bible to forgive. But what will we be keep forgiving over and over and over again? And then, um, even when they kill our kids, they kill our kids. They send them pastors up there to calm us down and get behind that mic. The first thing them them uh uh, uh reporter do said, "Do you forgive? Do you forgive? Do you forgive?" You can't even mourn your death of your own children. Your children have no value. Your loved one have no value when these race soldiers killed. They don't want you to say, y'all remember when they went in that church and killed all them people in that church, that guy, that little white boy. Before it was like two hours later, they was all on TV talking about how they don't forget that boy. And then when he had a chance to speak, he was pissed off at him for forgiving him. He said, I didn't ask for no damn forgive. Don't forgive me. I don't want y'all to forgive me. But they feel like, I forgive you anyway. They love one had no value in it. They had your love one had no value. Uh, uh, you say it's because of religion. If some of y'all feel like y'all religion is like that, that's wrong, y'all. But anyway, Miss Minky Finker said, I don't sing Amazing Grace. I'm gonna get to it because we got a lot to talk about today. I don't sing Amazing Grace and the Star Spangled Banner because why? Yeah, when they were written, yeah, you did your homework, yes. Yeah, that's right. Charleston, South Carolina is when that happened. And that, that church right there had a um, historical meaning to the reason that that, that that church was chosen. 
And can y'all imagine that boy sat there? They said and prayed and 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 um, worship with them people. And they and he still he still killed them. That's just how much hate he had them. And you know they 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 uh what they do is these suspected white supremacists they they'll pick easy targets like all them old people in the church. Cause I noticed y'all if y'all go back and watch uh watch that dock right there by that boat when they got to the boat it was one man had on red shorts he passed the brothers up and went and and and, and attacked the black woman so he was passing the he, he was passing them up he didn't want no smoke for them he wanted the black woman because she was an easy target but you know they got they oh lord they told his butt up they told him up. Oh, yeah, I saw him this morning. Y'all, y'all should see him this morning. He looked like a monster this morning. They told him up. And yeah. Greta. Greta Lee said, devils live among us. The white supremacists are some of the worst. Yes. Uh, just the devil as some of the clear people. So much hatred. Yeah, it's 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 a lot. It is beyond repair, you guys. And then what they say, you cannot be nice to no devil. You cannot be nice to no devil. And and, and, and this is what we're dealing with with love and marriage, huh? I sing for the idea of what we should be, not the reality. Evil still exists. Okay, Miss McNeil. Okay, uh, later what I read about Mama B, I had to just, oh, sit quiet. Yeah, yeah, she talking about the book. Yeah, Mama B, yeah, she talking about Mama B in the book. Mama B was 91 year old and that mob, that same type of mob, our leader that we saw on that deck, that was the same type of mob that went in there and did that to Mama B. Thank you, our leader, for reading my book. Yes. Okay, y'all, we're gonna get started. Let's get started with the uh with, with, with the lady on the deck that got fired, and then we'll go into Stormy. But I start off to tell y'all that I went in there. Uh, uh it says, uh, where my phone at? I'm just gonna start off. We're gonna go into Stormy, which surprised me. I got a big surprise, y'all. See this right here? I got this for here for the hot tea. Now, I don't know if y'all can read this, but it says uh, Canvas Beauty versus a First National Bank of Omaha. So that's what I thought I was going to see, but it ended up, uh, it wasn't them, y'all. Let me see if I can read. Yeah, Canvas Beauty, I got it. Versus the First National Bank of Omaha. But when I got in there, it was these people right here. I don't know if y'all can see them. Y'all can see this? These people right here. It says um, Old Dominion Freak Line. I don't know what the hell. I'm like, what the hell? Like I started to say, I did that with... with when I went with my soul, was the same thing. I'm thinking I'm going for Zen Garden to somebody else suing them. So they they lost to uh uh, uh Canvas Beauty lost to old Demilia Freak Line. Okay, Miss Mary said, I hope the black people will continue to unite. 443 watching and 213 likes. Get the like up. Thank you, Greta. Thank you. Oh, y'all, I might have to get up in a minute because they're going to um, come and the nurses come. I got to open the door. So if I get up and leave, y'all, y'all know I got to open the door for the nurses. So y'all want to ride the book without cash out? Do you have a PO box? Yeah, go to um, 
go to black titanic at yahoo.com just send your email and i email you the p.o box and while we add it y'all i don't give my house address don't ask me for my house address i don't do that i will get y'all y'all want i will get y'all the p.o box and i am actually won't be in huntsville but a few more days you guys i'm going back home in georgia my brother is uh is doing well. My sister going to take over from here. So I'm going back to Georgia, right? Probably by, uh, I want to say by Saturday, my ex-husband said he leaving tomorrow. So, but uh, I won't be traveling with him. I probably travel Saturday. So everything y'all see, the P.O. box going to be for Georgia. That's where I'm going to be at in two days in Georgia. That's where I live at. I no longer live here in Huntsville. I lived here like 30 some years and then I moved to, to Georgia. That's where I'm at now, you guys. So that's what y'all will see. Y'all will see the P.O. box. I I put I put the PO box up here in the, in the chat, okay? This is the lady at the riverfront bra. Thank you for the cash app. Miss Ann Berry. This is the class the of 2020, my last class that I had. I never did go back to work. So y'all see these people behind me. Some of them are doctors, y'all. Some of them are doing the internships already. You got your nurses. You got your physical therapies, your speech therapists, your occupational therapists. Shout out to all my students. Many blessings to you. And how time flies. That's been three years ago. May the blessings be on you and many success. And it was a joy teaching all of you. This is Black Titanic signing out to my classroom. Viral SS Media, Tammy Howard, it says, I guess that's her name. She threw the lady in the water. This is an elderly lady now trying to uh, help fight uh, these people off. She thought that her friend was dead. So she's saying that the boss fired her, you guys. The boss not said not one word when a group of, of clear people that look like herself almost killed Damien, the co-captain, but she only fired her. Let's just hear what she say. Yeah, uh, yeah, they stay on cold with each other, you guys. She was on cold. Her boss was on cold with the clear people because she clear and they were wrong. Play for all black people. And that's why we need to stick together. If we did this one time. Okay, let's go back a little. I lost a song. How I lost a grandson. I want y'all to go do right there. Y'all put y'all hand on that little boy. Out there, y'all knew that little boy don't know how to fight. He was that little child. Y'all put y'all, y'all big old grown men and women putting y'all hands on these people's children. That was one thing I didn't like about. You put your hands on that little big boy. That boy is 16 years old. You put your big old grown hand on that child. Come away from the cell with this, with this man. I bet you won't come back. Come on back down here. Act like you crazy. Come back down here. You won't get some more smoke from Tulane Coke. Come back down here. This how we do it in Montgomery. We don't pray. We don't pray for our black people. And that's why we need to stick together. If we did this one time, we would do it all the time. Put down these white folk, call us nigger. Call tell us go back where we come from. Where y'all come from? This ain't none y'all world. It's God world. God made this world. Y'all ain't y'all ain't y'all no more nothing. Y'all know where y'all stay at, but y'all don't do nothing in Montgomery. You came from the right people in the right place at the right time. I bet you gonna wake. I bet y'all woke up with a lot of headaches. Y'all got a lot of headaches when you woke up. Now I, I don't think that was fair. I don't think that was right. And then the next, you telling me when I get back on the boat, tell me you put your hands on that nigga. I don't give a damn. You ain't saying no when they put their hands on David Dang. You fire me because I put my hands on that lady. But you ain't say nothing when the lady put her hands on Damon Day. All the folks are not jumping on that man. And none of us couldn't even help him. Then you suck that, then they suck that man out there into the wood by himself with a little bit of child. They know these folks were racist. These folks had clamming on their uh they boat. Had salmon on their tag. Y'all knew they were racist. Talking about some Trump.
I bet you you won't want to come back down here talking about Trump. That Trump can't tell you to come back down here. Next time you come back down here, you ain't gonna you gonna think about it. I bet every race of very white white cuss down now gonna think about coming down here, getting some smoke, putting your hands on one of these black boys. And I I I felt sorry because all them black people up there, they seen dang dang getting jumped. Ain't nobody help them about that. What two men came down there and helped him. All y'all sitting up there filming, filming. And stuff like that. Y'all should have came out there and helped that man. And helped that brother. Y'all had to wait till we get out of the boat for we to help him fight. That wasn't even fair. All y'all sitting out there watching that man get drunk and film this stuff. What you filming it for? Go help that man. Y'all ain't even help that man. Y'all wait till his crew got out the boat and helped him fall. Man, that wasn't even nothing. Y'all should have helped them anyway. Y'all got that feeling to my, this who did this, who did that. Don't even nobody care about who did that. You should have been helping your brother. But like I said, I love every one of my crew members on the beef on this boat. That's why I liked about this job right here because every other job I had, we have beef. But when I was on working on the real boat, we don't even have beef. You know, they might, we say little words, but we don't have a bad thing to say about each other. We always stuck together, you know, bond. That's what I like by working on that riverboat because it was good, it was nice. You know, the people that you know went on the boat was nice. The people who come on the boat is nice. But my anger and my frustration came from way from that. I just had too much stuff on me at one time. With my job at Farmer University stuff. Acting a fool to my I can't come back there because I got into it with one of the students. But this one of these students swung at me and I told these folks. That's why I tell y'all, working with other people, it ain't good. Working with different people it ain't good. Man, they want to look a swung at me. And y'all had a nerve to tell me that. I can't come back there, but see, I already had a job. Then me going through a lot. I mean, y'all know I've been going through a lot. Everybody know me. I'm sweet. I'm nice. I'm kind. But when you push me to a level that you think you can push me, it ain't gonna work like that. Then me, I, I just been going through a lot. One job, act crazy. Another job, you understand? Know, then I, then me taking care of my daddy doing all I can, working myself to the dog, hurting my hand. I had a sling on my finger for a whole week. I just ain't put it on Facebook and let nobody know. People just don't know what I was going through. And that whole week I was going through, through stuff with my father, with my uncle, you understand? You no know, personal stuff, you understand know me? But I, I ain't gonna excuse about me putting my hands on them, cause God always say He is the revealer. But me, I'm not gonna let nobody put his hands on somebody who I know. Diamond, diamond is just like a nephew to me. And when I seen that, that's why I, was, I was slow and I went out about a lot of stuff. I already was mad about my dad. I don't help you, man. Thank you, Ann Barry, for the cash out. I don't help you. Got yourself on your feet. I don't did everything I can for you. Then when you got on your feet, you touch your back on me. Tell the folk that I took money from you and everything. Been on a job for you. I don't know everything. I've been on this riverboat. I ain't even been working. I ain't even made a dime. I ain't even got a check for this lady on these, this riverboat. They're supposed to tell you. I haven't even got a check. And for you to come and take turn your back on me, that was really was pissing me off. But to be on that riverboat that day, they got to see these white folks put their hands on Damon Dang, man, that was that was on a call for you don't put your hands on nobody. You should have moved that boat when that boy told you to move that boat. And then all these people jumping on, on him, all these black folks sitting up there, y'all sitting up there watching him get beat instead of coming down there and help your brother. And I said, he fell, man. That was really scared me because I lost a son. I lost a grandson. I know how to feel to lose a child. 
And I was glad that they, they didn't take his life. And this lady on this riverboat, she didn't give a damn. All she was caring about was her job, my job. I run this boat. I don't give a damn about you run this boat. Think about other folks' life. You worry about this boat. You ain't worried about how we, we die or day or tomorrow. You ain't call nobody. You ain't call none person. Ask them if they're dead or alive. Y'all, y'all think about is making money, having stuff for y'all self. Long as you can do for other folks, they don't care about you. They don't care what you go through. Long as you can do whatever you do for anybody. Long as you do things for people, they don't care. But when you decide to want to do something for yourself, that's when everybody gets mad. But I, I don't care about me throwing that lady in the river. I don't give a damn. They come out. The police, hey, come and get me. Come and get me. The police look for me. They ain't looking too hard because I'm here. I don't care about her throwing it up. They ain't had no business putting their hands on Damon Day. You put your hands on the wrong person, child, somebody who we know, who grew up. His mama know my mama. I know her children. This boy raised my son. Then y'all gonna put y'all hands on him in front of us? No, baby, we don't wanna go down like that. Y'all would thought that we were gonna go down like that. We don't care where you from. That's why all of us on that river front, we stuck together. Cause we said when that boat hit that dock, we gonna go beat the hell out of them. You thought we were playing with y'all after you put your hands on him? You ain't got no bit put your hands on him. You should have moved that boat when he told you to move. Move that boat. That I ain't even, I don't even work on that boat that long. I ain't even got a, never got a check from this lady. And then they find me the same day. Come on, I put my hands on this on this lady. You ain't say no when them when them folks were putting their hands on David Dane. You ain't even come out there and ask her if we dead or not. You come out there, come on, you fire. Okay, fire me. I don't mean fire a plan job, lady. I don't care about I don't job. God got me wherever he want me. Whatever God got for me is going to be for me. Can't nobody do nothing to me. I don't been with this. I don't been, I don't been going through hell that whole week. The devil been on me all that week. I just had so much frustration on me. So that lady, she just got what she deserved. And when I throw her in the river, like every weight came out of me. I ain't been let nobody I know get hurt. I am not in front of me. I don't care who I am, who I'm mad with. I don't care I'm mad with you. But if I know you from the coat, too ain't coat. It ain't gonna be nothing like that. You ain't going down like that. We're gonna stick together. We might call them fuck, but we come from the coat. We're gonna stick together. And you ain't had no man put your hands on damn dang. Y'all come way up on Sam and down here. Tell me some Trump. Damn Trump. Trump run that thing up in Washington, DC. But see, Trump got y'all beat down down in Montgomery. Come down here, my government playing with us, baby. Come down here, two night coat playing with the right one. You play with the right one from the coat, from the project, with throw hands at y'all. Y'all thought this stuff gonna end. Y'all gonna win, but baby, we gonna win. Y'all play with my ancestors like that. The slave, I ain't no slave. You ain't gonna come toward me to my watching you, wait, wash your clothes, wash your children. Baby, I ain't watching nothing. Y'all red that came down here. You came for this smoke, and you got this smoke. And you gonna keep getting this phone. I don't care, Miss Liz. I don't care. She's mad or nothing. I don't give a damn. I'll do it again. You put your hand on them day. I'm gonna come back for you again. I don't care about these white folk on that boat. Come on, y'all put y'all hands on them. Y'all didn't say no one put, put their hands on them day. Y'all didn't care about him. You ain't even ask nothing about him. You worrying about your boat and your job. Baby, you gonna always get a job. One thing about God, he always gonna provide for you. He always gonna give you what you want and what you need. God ain't did nothing but show me what, what was going on. That's all God did. He showed me the whole, whole week. The whole week, I was stressed out that whole week. But I ain't never went on that boat fussing or arguing with none of my co-workers about what my life was going through. I always came on that boat humble, good. Everybody loved me on that boat because I just was the host. I just bring them in. And everybody loved me. I love you, dang things. I'm glad you say. I'm glad that little boy say. I'm glad the man, I don't even know who the man is with the child. I just want to know his name to thank him. And everybody tell me, you put she calling you just you put your hands on this lady. Lady, you better get back. You better get back. This, 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 this,
I know how it feels to lose a great song. And y'all come for us on that road. Y'all gonna be family. You talking about we family. We're family. We're gonna stick by one another. We're gonna take care of one another. And that's why I did. And she left and she she went into that into that river. Cause I wish we were far out, I would have thrown her far out to that river. But she wasn't the one I wanted. I wanted the wife on side of that boat, but she couldn't get out, she wouldn't get out of that boat. I don't care what you say, and then I don't care what you do. Yeah, you fire me. I don't care about no job, man. I came in the world without a job. I won't leave him without a job. I don't care about none of y'all. But when it comes to day day, I'm gonna I'm gonna protect him and do what I gotta do as a mother. As an auntie. And it was like that day just like a nephew to me. Like I said, he from the project. All of us gonna stick together. I don't care how it's gonna go down. Everybody on that boat, we stuck together. We all our black boy, we came out that boat. We came out that boat to put these hands on y'all. Y'all gonna put y'all hands on them day. We're gonna put our hands on you. Don't come down here from another state that y'all gonna play. Play talking about some Trump. We don't give a damn about Trump. Y'all go up there and watch D.C. Y'all did that and watch D.C. But you came down here in Alabama where somebody gonna put your hands on you. Y'all came from another state that y'all gonna, y'all gonna be, it was gonna be funny what you did to him. Y'all thought it was going, y'all, y'all thought it was gonna be funny. Y'all thought y'all gonna hit damn day and do him like that and thought we weren't gonna do nothing. No, man, that's why we waited till that boat landed and got out of that boat. I don't give a cow. to my going to jail, baby. I don't care about going to jail. I'm been in jail plenty of time. What? Tell my Steve Reese said he gonna put people in jail. Here I am. Put me in jail. What you gonna do? Nothing. I I did what I had to do for my brothers and sisters. We tired of this racist stuff. Everybody talking about black and white, black and white. Ain't no way. Ain't no way in hell. Keep on talking about black and white, y'all. This day country. How did y'all country? What you calling us niggas and go back where we came from? Where we came from? I come from my government. I come from understanding how. I was raised, raised, raised in the Montgomery. So where I come from? And I ain't no, I ain't nobody nigga. I don't even know what that is. Where y'all get that word from? What's a nigga? That's what you call it. What's it? What is it? But next time, I bet you next time you won't come back down here. Come back down here. I'll do it again. I don't care. I get fired. Next, I'll see you time. I'm going to do the same thing I did today. Got off that boat and lay my hands on whoever took them and them. Don't put your hands on nobody. You ain't had no business putting your hands on that man anyway. Because you could have avoided it. Everything could have been avoided. When that man told you to move that boat, move that boat. I was already man anyway with my father. You playing me. But I know I couldn't put hands on that man right here. Because he was old and I didn't want to go to jail for him for elder abuse. But I put hands on the person who I know I can. And when that lady came up in there, talking like my daddy, oh, why you put your hand on my friend? Put your hand on my friend, then I went to beat the dog at you. And the first thing I thought about, I said, throw her in that water, and that's what I did. I'm going to see if you can swim, Becky. Yeah. And when I threw Becky in that water, Becky, I bet you Becky got back out, and I had to go back at Becky. Because you came back out the water. I'm going to throw it back in again for my friend. <laughs> One of the boys on the boat said, tell me, don't do it no more. But I thank everybody who was on that crew with us. I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm glad everybody safe. Everybody good. I'm glad everybody out of jail. Because I don't understand him. The police trying to arrest our black people. How you going to arrest the black folk when the white folk came down here doing this drama? Arrest them. They the one came down here with that smoke. But they thought that smoke was gonna stay. But baby, they came to some fire. We're gonna give you some fire. We're gonna put them hands on you, baby. I'm about this life. I've been about this life. I've been about this life ever since I was young. My mama fought. What you think we get it from? My mama. What you think my girls don't get it from? My son get it from their mama. But she lucky, she got she got she got lucky that when I throw her in that water, she knew how to swim. But if I got no, if I knew she didn't know how to swim, I would throw her back in that wall again. But man, Liz, I don't, I don't care about you firing me. I don't care about nothing, baby. I don't be firing for. I don't care about no job like that. I get job every other day. I don't care. 
But why I'm not going to tell her what you're going to do? You're not going to talk. You are not going to talk. Let out these white folks put their hands on them. Y'all going to take up for one another. And we're going to take up for each other. And that's what we should. Y'all saw what she said? That that boss, I guess, assumed that this is, uh, she called her Miss Lynn as a white lady. And she is on call with her people. She said nothing about uh, six or seven now. Well, all right. I guess that's it, you guys. Yeah. Yes. on Damien to the fact that they had him on the ground, kicking him in the head. She thought he was dead. Soon as she tried to, and then uh, the other lady tried to jump him. She said that, um, you know, she tried to help Damien, and, and that's when the lady ended up in the water. She threw the lady in the water, and she's not even till today asked how Damien is doing, how y'all doing. You know, she's concerned about her people that was wrong. The queer people that looked like her, this lady got... Um, Fire, you guys. We need to be on code. I don't know how to send her a little cash app. I don't know how to do a GoFundMe for her. She got fired over her job. Also, Damien, too, is another one. And the other little boy that swam. We need to be looking out for these people. The man that hit the lady on the head, they looking for him. We need to help look out. Any lawyers? that can get a time for free uh anybody that do, uh, know how to do a gofundme for these people please put it up so we can donate doing all the time while we're out here killing each other shooting each other putting us in grave and stuff we need to be be together fighting fighting our history this is a history going good this is a history going bad Tammy Howard and we brought this video. history to good things we this brought this history to life I don't care how long breaking new. I don't care nothing about that. All I care about when you put your hands on Damon Day, that's all I care about. When you put your hand on somebody else's son, that's somebody's son, that's somebody's uncle, that's somebody's brother. Y'all didn't give a damn. Y'all could have killed that man that day. And me seeing that, that man I had not tears my heart uh, hurting on that boat. I was crying like hell because I thought y'all had killed this man. He laying on the ground like that. Y'all ain't have no reason to put your hands on nobody. You took your money and drove back to the sand where you came from. I bet you won't wish you won't come back down here no more. I bet you won't come down here and play with nobody else. Play with this smoke again, baby. I bet you. Everybody laughing, thinking it was funny. Baby, it ain't funny. Y'all white folks were laughing, thinking it was funny. Come on, nigga. Go back where y'all came from. What? Nobody don't know, nigga. Where we come from? America? Y'all play with our ancestors like that, baby. This a new generation. Ain't no slavery down here. Ain't no slavery in Montgomery. I don't care about KI. I don't care about none of them. But all y'all racist. They racist down here. It's ain't no bummer of racist people down here in Montgomery. And then you gonna come down here and talk about putting their hands on somebody. Y'all came down here for that smoke. Y'all came way up on Selma with a planet sign on y'all boat. Y'all came down here for that mess. Some of some Trump. Yeah, I bet y'all, I bet y'all women who came down here for Trump. Trump did that mess in Washington D.C. See, they ain't know how to lay y'all hands on y'all in Washington D.C. But when y'all came down here, my government, we put that smoke on y'all. Come on, come back down here. We gonna put that smoke on y'all again. We don't care. Don't ever put your hands on nobody. I know. Don't ever put your hands on nobody in the coat. I know. I'm gonna bend them to the world. I'm gonna bang up on my my people in two like coat. But we went through bad and good days. And wonderful day. I had the good day, wrong or the bad day. Don't put your hands on nobody's child. Let somebody's child I know. And I know that boy, I've been knowing that man since he was Welcome a child. With, with child and all the content created. Like I said, you came down here for my, I mean, whatever I'm saying, with that drummer, you gonna get that drum. Then y'all got white, y'all got black folk working for y'all. Cooking for y'all, doing all this stuff for y'all. Then y'all come down here calling us nigga and all them. 
They are folks that didn't even know who they were working for. They don't even know who what they were doing for. But like I said, this smoke, this, 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 this stuff, this, I ain't gonna been building up. This come from, this come from me, me and my dad getting into it. Me and these folks at my job getting into it. You understand? Know All that pushing on me that day. And I, like I said, I don't go to work to tell, tell what's going on. When I go to work, I go to work to tell the That's people, hey, how you doing, you, you know? We all to be, we pray to get on that boat. We, we be family on that boat. You don't even see us arguing on that boat. That's what I like about that job. I love that job because you ain't never seen us arguing on that boat. We don't even argue on that boat. Because the lady Jack always tell us to write down our, write down a sermon every day. And that's what I love about Jackie. That's what I love about Jackie. Say, write down a sermon before y'all get on this boat. Y'all uh, have positive vibe. We have positive vibe on that boat. We work together on that boat. We do everything on that boat. And our men that never been what for swimming. But I, whoever got here fall in here water, please get him back here fall in here water. That's my little song right there. And when I get on the boat, I talk to all of them. I pray for everybody. All of them folks love me on that boat. I be praying and I be talking to them. I tell them, you know, go to school too, right? You understand me? I'll tell them about how I lost a son, how I lost a grandson. I want y'all to go do right. Then y'all put, put y'all hand on that little boy out there. Y'all knew that little boy don't know how to fight. He was that, that little child. Y'all put y'all, y'all big old grown men and women putting y'all hands on these people's children. That was one thing I ain't like about. You put your hands on that little bit boy. That boy is 16 years old. You put your... Yeah, that's it, you guys. Yeah, she was upset. Yeah, that, that little boy, yeah. Grown people was jumping on him, too, the little young man. I didn't know it was two of them out there. She said it was two of them, uh, two 16-year-olds out there. Can you imagine that, your first summer job, <laughs> and that's what you, you, you went to, a bunch of racists? But I'm trying to get this off of here, you guys. Hold on. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hold on, Pinky. Hold on. Okay. Uh, before I forget. Uh, that person that asked me, did I get my cash app? Yes, I got a young lady. Uh, Miss Melinda Robinson, I did mail your book off. I finally saw where you put your um your address. Y'all know I don't. Y'all make sure y'all email me the address with y'all money. Email it to me now. All the time, I, it can't. I, it it won't show up on the cash app. She, uh, Miss Melinda Robinson, had put it on with a cash app, and I didn't know it. And Barry, thank you for the order for the book. I'll send it all tomorrow. Okay, um, I I get everybody cash app. A lot of times, like I told y'all, I thank y'all when I get here because I'm skeptical about, you know, returning any kind of emoji to y'all or anything because that's how I was in scam before. Okay, uh, Pinky, hello, Pinky. Thanks for hello, being here. Hello, hello, everybody. Yes. How you all doing? So I'm still in the, we're still uh, doing, I'm still doing the, uh, I haven't got to Stormy yet, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's so funny. this is where I will be going into Stormy, but I wanted y'all some feedback for you guys on this broad and have you all ever experienced any type of racism? Before let's y'all let's talk about the bra before we go to love and marriage Huntsville. Okay. So Miss Beautifully Age said, um read what you said, Miss Beautifully Age. Can you see what she said from there? Uh which one? Miss Beautiful Age? Uh-huh. She read said, that. Can you okay? She said, uh Rob Roberts OMG. Looks like they wanted to see that security guy beaten down by a group of devils with no support. Whew. Wow. And, and that's what they're used to. And they count on the law, y'all. 
They count on the law to back them up because all, all ever since they've been on this earth, the law backs them up. They do what they want to do to us, and then uh, they have no accountability, even when we go to court. Right. And you guys, uh, when I went to court this morning, I thought I was going to see Stormy, but uh, I, I got in there. It was uh, This will remind me of that black man in court this morning. He was fighting against this white. This little young, he was old, y'all. He like he like in his 70, and the little young boy was uh clear. Looked like he was like in his 20s. I'm like, what was he doing fighting with that old man? But the old man took him to court, but he was sitting up there all arrogant. Uh uh, he was sitting there, there all arrogant as if it wasn't nothing gonna happen to him. But the old man had a lawyer, y'all. So I'm sitting there in court and I'm looking around, where's Stormy? Why Stormy and them ain't here? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Stormy and them was a no-show. But they had they what they did was uh had a hearing the day before, you guys. They had paid the settlement. They reached a settlement. Mm -hmm. So the day before she didn't come to court. And I was ready for her to come to court because she was gonna be grabbed when she got to court after her court day. Yeah. She and uh yeah, she was gonna be grabbed for that for for that uh 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 that warrant that I got on her and I was sitting right there wanted to see it and tape it. So but anyway, y'all, I got I guess up when I guess up, let me show y'all this video. I guess up she wasn't she didn't show up, so that remind me of the, the black man that was already in court in session trying to defend himself against that little young white boy and i looked over there at that little white boy you ought to be ashamed of yourself a shame a shame that little white boy looked like he was no more between 20 and 23 and this man had to be in his 70s and was old he what happened was it was a uh he had hit and he had hit the man from behind the old man from behind and when the old man got out the car he jumped on him y'all he jumped on him oh so, Lord. yeah he had jumped on him yeah and then I, and, 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 and he was and still he the the, the 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 elderly guy was brave he wasn't yeah. he wasn't afraid he was there defending himself he had his, he had a lawyer he had, had to hire a lawyer i don't know how i don't know how long that been going on but he shouldn't have to have a lawyer if he was a victim, but they must have had they must have had a favor that clear person. The reason he had to go back and appeal it and get a judge, get a lawyer. Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna put this up, this this up right here. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And, uh, I can't, I can't wait. No, hold on. I'm not gonna put this up. Let me just go on and put this through because I'm gonna have to ask you to step up down when I get ready to do that. I do that one last. All right, y'all. We finna do love and marriage, Huntsville. All right, this is Stormy Court, y'all. This is Stormy Court. Yep, y'all. These people from Love and Marriage Huntsville, y'all, all of them are criminals to their heart. They love scamming the community. Oh, yeah. And the company, yeah, let me just say what that company is. The company that, 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 uh, since we're doing storming, is, is Old Dominion Free uh, Lion versus Canvas Beauty Brand. Of course, they won their judgment. It was one twelve thousand eight hundred four dollars and seventy two cent. Old Dominion Freak Line is a shipping company. You guys, they ship anything from livestock, furniture. They ship a Walmart. They ship retails also. I saw where someone said that. Uh, maybe y'all remember when she was on that. Um. Uh, when she was on on that on on um 
love and marriage Huntsville at that black expo when she said that her man couldn't be there. It was right. one of those, one of them where she said he had to deliver items all the way to New Jersey, right? Right. He had to do it himself. But see, that's why he had to do it because these people must have used to ship uh, retails for them and they yeah. wouldn't pay them. They owe them. Okay, here we go, y'all. Here we go. This is Stormy Still. This is me at the courthouse, you guys. What's going on? Can you, uh, uh, what happened? I'm not sure. Here. It didn't pop up. Okay, he's back up. Let me see. He's back down. Let me see what's going on. I'm coming, y'all. Let me get this together. I don't know what's going on. While we get that up, uh, let me holler at a few pe people, okay? Okay, go on. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, trending at some point. Uh, glad to see you in the house, Patricia uh, Patricia T, Cecilia Roberts. Uh, let me see who oh, is up now. Okay, go ahead. Titanic, hit that like button, share and subscribe. Hey y'all, this is Black Titanic. I am down here at Madison County Courthouse. I don't know whether they're going to allow me to go in. Canvas Beauty versus uh, First National Bank is due. So, y'all stay tuned. Will they allow me to go in? Like I said, I'm at uh, Madison, Madison County Courthouse. I don't know if they're going to allow me to go in. It's already 9 o'clock. Of course, you're already be in session. Stay tuned. This is Black Titanic, your investigator reporting. Reporting on Campus Beauty versus First National Bank. And it's not First National Bank. Okay, now, it's just like oh, Titanic. What's going on is yesterday they came up here and uh, Stormy had, was paid $12,804.72. I was up here ready to go. As you can see, I'm at the Madison County Courthouse, right? I was up here ready to go to court, ready to sit in on. She had a, a date, which was 9th, 10th. I mean, the 10th of this month was her court date, right? And uh, I'm actually still sitting here in the County Courthouse, as you can see. Uh, it says that Y'all can see this. I have to turn it around. It says, I hereby order that is consent and judgment be entered against the defendant, which is uh, 
Stormy had to pay $12,904.72 plus the court costs. Judge resolved. So again, she came ahead of time the day before her court uh, appointment. I don't know how they arranged it. Uh, between, I guess she had a lawyer to arrange it the day before the court. I sat in the court um, and I was waiting on them and then I realized that I didn't see either one of them. I didn't see Stormy. I didn't see anybody. So I decided to get up and ask, what is going on? Why is it that um, Stormy is not here? And then when I got in here, it was a black man. He was, he was, it was already in session. There's a black man there, as you can see. I'm down here at the courthouse. So you guys reporting on Stormy still and this beauty product. They keep okay. freezing. I don't know why, y'all. They did show up yesterday. Some kind of mediation that they had yesterday. She had to pay $12,804.72. I don't know if y'all can see that. Right? It says that I hereby order that a consent judgment be entered in the case in the favor of the plaintiff and against the defendant in the sum of $12,804.72 plus court costs. This is Old Dominion Freight Line, Old Dominion Freight Line Incorporated versus Canvas Beauty. So I do not know who these people are. Uh, so this is dated on this ninth day of August 2020. Three, Donna Rosado as the district judge. Again, this is my top ten reporting to you from the, the county courthouse, right? I did go into the courtroom. There was a no show between Stormy uh, Canvas Beauty. So, what I did was I realized that um, uh, it was a black man testifying, it was some kind of car wreck. If at that time, I said, well, maybe I'm in the, in the wrong courtroom. Maybe that they got it wrong. Maybe they had it wrong. Hey, y'all, this is the same ill y'all was where Melody had her. Her thing, yeah, so. Where Melody was at, and uh, as you can see, this is the directory of the county courthouse directory. I am, um, hey, yeah, Deborah Kissy, uh, this is Deborah, Deborah, uh, kid talk to me, she actually, she actually printed out the sheet for me that the judgment was for a uh, canvas beauty brand, LLC, $12,804.72, as you can see. Uh, they did settle, they did win a judgment against Stormy Steel, against Canvas Beauty Brand, LLC. Once again, this is the Madison County Courthouse, right here. Y'all can see that judgment was $12,804.72 uh, by uh, the judge was run up with Sato. August the 9th, 2023. And uh, this is uh, public knowledge. This is public, you guys. You know, uh, this is public. Anyway, this is Black Titanic. You're a reporter reporting off from the Madison County Courthouse. No oh wow! You said was a could you explain consent? What you say that mean? Uh huh. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Uh huh. All right. So. The clerk was saying that I was sitting in the courtroom, but she said that court on 8 10 2023 
was canceled out because on 8 9 2023 it was a consent between both of them. The, uh, the other part of uh, Stormy agreed to pay them uh, a judgment on $12,804.72 the day before the court. So she did not have to go to court on the 10th. This is Black Titanic. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. This is Old Dominion Freak Line Incorporated versus Canvas Beauty brand. Now, I thought that I was going for First National Bank of Omaha, but uh, you get sitting there and it's something different. You never know about love and marriage, Huntsville. That's how I did my soul. I got in there. I thought my soul was going to be by Zen Garden, but it was uh, uh, something entirely different. Hey, y'all. I am leaving the courthouse. I was able to get in into uh, Judge Rosado, uh, Judge Rosado courtroom which is where Stormy Steel Campus Beauty was due today. However, like I said, I sat there for a while. There was a no-show. And then I got up and I went and I asked Kirsten and the clerk told me that they, yesterday, they uh, had some kind of agreement where the other company, some kind of freight company, won their judgment. Almost thirteen thousand dollars. Anyway, you guys, we're still ready to pour down rain. This is your YouTube investigator, Black Titan, reporting to you from Huntsville, Alabama, uh, Madison County Courthouse. As you can see, Madison County Courthouse. So um, these people paid for her. She did. She did the right thing. I mean, you know, you can't, you can't knock it. When they came to that party, they had to pay for, um, they had to pay for everything. They had to pay to sit on her lawn. They had to bring in on chairs. They had to even pay for water. They had to um, pay for food. She didn't offer anything to them, not even a drink of water. But anyway, they was willing to do it. They was willing to support for this lady and so stormy your day is coming with me in court yeah your day is coming with me in court you set up and made a mockery out of huntsville police department you posted them online uh making a mockery out of them but you might have got away you think you got away with it but your day with me gonna, gonna come in court right and this you ain't gonna be able to get out of anyway you guys uh yeah so i don't know i don't like this thing freezing up like that i don't like it that uh stream yard that's not oh, right ooh, this this some kind of freight, freight company i don't know what there was it says for i'm gonna take this down and we'll talk about it y'all okay Okay, yeah, you guys. So that's what happened. I did show up in court. I was maybe about five minutes late, late and when I got there. Everything was already in session, right? And like I said, it was a black man in there and, and, and a clear person. And, and they were going at it, you know. So I realized after a while that I didn't, I looked around. I didn't see nobody from Stormy Camp. And then I realized that uh, this court is already in session. Maybe I, I had the wrong room. I got up. I went to the clerk. Y'all heard what the clerk said to me. The clerk pulled mm -hmm. up the file and told me that the day before that they came to some kind of consent, some kind of agreement 
And the agreement was uh, that 12000 and some dollars was, was what they agreed upon, you guys. Yeah, they agreed upon that. So, and that was with Old Dominion Freight Line. That's Old Dominion uh, Freight Incorporated. Freight Line Incorporated. Mm -hmm. And what they do, they ship stuff. And they yeah. even ship, I read up on it, ship a lot of stuff, y'all. Even yeah. ship retail. But then that reminded me when she said that uh, one, what, on one of those episodes, Courtney couldn't be there because he had to drive all the way to New York to ship mm -hmm. to take their products. So this is why. Right. Now that first national, the first national bank, I guess they they uh, of Omaha suing them too. They said uh, uh, suing them too, so they haven't got they haven't gotten there. But whenever they do, I will be there, you guys. This is yes. This, this is the paperwork. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna run this video back through because it's freezing. So when I run the video back through, I will have for all you content creator that want this, you can have it. You, it's fine with me. Y'all want to post this? It's fine. I'm gonna. I'm going to put it up so you guys can get a copy of it. And I need for you guys to just share it, make it go viral. Also, uh, True T is asking us to sign her petition. I don't have a link in here, but I did see the link on Here for the Hot Tea. I signed that petition through Here for the Hot Tea because these they are trying to get rid of the content creators, you guys. They're trying to get rid of us. All the ones that's speaking out, that's speaking the truth is what they're trying to do. Here for the high, hot tea, they keep striking her. Not here for the hot tea, uh, uh, true tea. They keep striking her, trying to take her channel down. It, even this week, y'all know every time I say something, they're going to they gonna hit me with a copyright or they're going to say I'm, I'm bullying them. And this week I got a, a copyright thing. I had to take it down. So what they do is they keep on going after your channel trying to get you. But what 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 True Tree said, well, we're gonna get rid of them. So we so y'all please go sign that petition, mm -hmm. change.org. You can find it on True T. I think it's in True T Instagram or, or on her YouTube. I've got my last two videos. I got the link on my last two videos. Here for the hot tea, got the link on hers too. Uh, here for the hot tea got the link. Uh, the one when she talked about story going to court. Uh, y'all yeah. yeah, pull that one up. Y'all will see that link to sign that petition. So, uh, it, it, what you got to say about this lawsuit? About they won a judgment, of course. Right, they did. Uh, I did sign that law, uh, that uh, petition, guys. And I can't. I was looking for it uh, as like Tanit Tan was talking. Uh, because I signed it, um, let me see. I don't remember exactly how I got to it, but I signed my, I signed it too. And it's uh, probably uh, different content creators. Uh, they got it up or just type in uh, Stormy Steel Lock and um, it'll come up um, for you to sign it. Um, also, uh, as she was uh, mentioning about the uh, Dominion uh, Freight Line, Incorporated, yeah, they're a big. They've been around for over eighty-five years. They're huge, and I don't see how Storm thought she was going to get away with uh, allegedly uh, not paying them. Uh, if you want anything shipped, they they ship everything, anything as well. Uh, big, huge companies as well, and Tiny uh, uh, Stormy's company compared to other companies that uh, get things shipped. It's a little flat in the ocean compared to uh, what they normally ship and everything. Um, also, as everybody was trending, says she did want to know more. Uh, also, uh, Miss Black Titanic about the uh, court uh, trending at some point. She did want to know more and uh, oh, yeah. type in uh, trending at some point exactly uh, what you uh, want to know more about. And I do want to say uh, hi, uh, Linda Gamble and everybody as well. Okay, you guys. So we're looking at a bunch of fakeness going on. Um, we're looking at a bunch of fake 
These people are fake, you guys. They're not no wealthy millionaires. Y'all, no. y'all look at the Scots. They don't fake. They way all the way through here. Right. Now we're looking at Stormy. Stormy, you didn't have the money to pay them people. She gave that party. Supposed to have been a, a, a her, her birthday is August the 3rd, you guys. But anyway, she gave that party in time enough to pay pay these people off. You got nothing when y'all whoa, you got you gotta pay to sit on this woman lawn. You yeah. have to pay. She wouldn't even get, get, get them a drink of water. Yeah. When they, water yeah. was three dollars. Water was three dollars or more. What? Right. She wouldn't even give them a bologna sandwich. They had to pay for that. They had to pay for everything. And I'm sure they had to pay to use the toilet because, honey, they probably had them old stalls outside, mm -hmm. allegedly, mm -hmm. because she's not been letting no 800 people inside her house and use her mm -hmm. toilet. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so that always man, she's she been sued between her mm. and the Scots. They always been sued mm. for non payment or something. They're mm. always back and forth in court for non payment, being sued. This girl, these people, the one that judgment now, what's her name? Uh, Miss Carson. She looked at these people, but she didn't look at, at their morals and, and, right. and, and all of that behind what they're doing to, to get over. They get over on the community. That's how they're able to, to have money. Now, even in the stuff inside her home, they got a judgment against all that stuff in her house, y'all. The furniture and the decoration, they got, they got a judgment against that. They got yeah, they they need own furniture. People own furniture. That's bad. Yeah, um, and, uh, that house too. That house right. too. They, they have, have, we got uh, several um, uh, second mortgages and liens on it and everything else. No, yes. You know, yeah, and, and have that happen. Can y'all imagine the shock I was in when I got there, thinking I'm gonna be up there and look at First National Bank. Uh, get there is a uh, old Dominion Freak line up there, another company. So right. that means you got a uh, old National Bank going to sue them too. So right. I'm that glad. Uh, yeah, that was uh, the court made a mistake and put the old National up there, First Bank of Omaha, and then uh, instead of old Dominion Freak. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can find out from the old National Bank because they owe that bank too. Okay. Yeah, like you know what? Uh, actually, from when she first came on the show and was talking and everything, I always said she does not move or act like she have money. Uh, she didn't move like it. When I say move like it, I I, I know how people with money moves. They move a certain way. And even the ones uh, when, when they just come into money, they don't know how to act. But she still didn't move like it. She just wasn't moving right. And I and and when uh, all the allegations and everything uh, came was coming out and different things, and I and I said to myself, she, she she don't have no money. She's what you call perpetrating a fraud. She probably had it at one time. She had lost it, and she's still perpetrating the fraud, trying to pay Paul to keep keep. Keep the other pole from coming. Paying Paul to jump over the other one and the other one. No, you don't act. You, you don't move like that. You don't do that. And remember, I questioned uh, when she moved from one uh, warehouse to the other one. I yeah. Hey, you. go ahead on and talk to nurses at the door. I go on the door for the okay, nurses. Go ahead. Uh, can talk to uh, the audience. Go ahead. Uh, I got it. Um, she. Uh, when I when she moved from one warehouse to the other, desk, I was saying no, no. If you you got a million, buy a warehouse, build a warehouse. You don't rent a warehouse and then move to another and rent a warehouse and then don't pay. Oh no, mm -mm, no. I, I I just knew. I just knew. So one day we're gonna have a pas we're gonna have a pastor party at my house. Okay, but let me uh see some of uh, what everybody is saying. Uh, to want to heal. Uh, I'm not, I'm not just the uh, content creator, but they are all doing this too. May uh, you too was uh, stuck down for bullying, struck down for bullying. Okay, um, Tanya Hill and uh, Mary White, Huntsville PD, uh, Bonnie Fight. <laughs> I like that. 
Uh, let me, uh, I like that. Uh, Mary Kelly, allegedly, Ryan, in my opinion, is she robbing Paul, uh, Peter to pay Paul? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yes. Allegedly, Mary Kelly, but I've been saying that for the longest. I guess we're thinking alike. We're thinking alike. Um, uh, Lisa Girl uh, said, uh, robbing uh, Peter to pay Paul. I think everybody thinks, yeah, she's doing the Peter to pay Paul. They are fake millionaires. Uh, people with real money don't even act like ish. Trash. Yes, you're right. Uh, let me just see. Uh, Mary Williams. I agree, Miss Pinky. I know people who have old money, they move in a certain way. You're right about that. Because, uh, oh, uh, I didn't have, I shouldn't say me, but uh, my, no, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, they do move in a certain way. Um, uh, May May, hey, Anonymous. Oh, she's saying hey to Anonymous and Sexy Mama. Um, uh, Bravo ad Addiction. Uh, hi, Black Titanic. Let me see. Mary White. Uh, Sandra uh, Reese. Watching and enjoying uh, from Kingston, Jamaica. Oh. Jamaica is in the house. I love Jamaica. I've been there so many times. You know what? This is a true story. My baby girl, my husband had to pay her to go on a cruise. Not a cruise. Yeah, a cruise because uh, uh, a family was having a, uh, what is it? A family reunion. Okay. And the uh, person invited me is, a, is like top notch, right? And she didn't want to go. So my husband, uh, they was all had a package, but no, we weren't going to do the package. He, so he upgraded the whole cruise thing and paid my daughter <laughs> to go. So she be okay. there with me. What y'all talking uh, about? And she, 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 fought for, she really didn't want to go. He had to pay her. To, now, who pays somebody to go to Jamaica? I don't know. That's what, that's what my husband had to do. Pay her a lot of money just to go to on a cruise um, and everything. And we wasn't doing the cruise. It was for another family that was having a family reunion. We was just invited. I was just invited along. Yeah. But I love uh, Jamaica. I've been there so many times uh, and everything. I think that's why my daughter, when she even been to, uh, to places so many times, she don't want to go back. Other places. Okay, too, let me do that to Wanda Hill say they are trying very hard to break down. Thank thank you, uh Pinky. Thank you. You're welcome. They are trying very hard to break down Melody's fan base, which includes a whole lot of content creators. Yeah. yeah. And they're trying to get rid of us too, you guys. That's why we have to uh support True T in her effort. Yeah. yeah. Demeter Joe Queen says that um the real millionaires are Melanie and the Fletchers only. That is correct. Mm -hmm. you, you can tell by the way they act and the way they move. They're the real ones. Okay. Trendy at some point. Hey, camera girl. Yes, trendy at some point. Uh, I, I said something else too. Let me put this up. Let me okay. see. Oh, this is Black Titanic, and I am actually just going down the parkway leaving the courthouse and, and uh, you know I was just thinking about these people who love and marriage principle you guys uh, what are we dealing with we dealing with a bunch of people with criminal minds you guys and uh, I don't know if y'all seen it but y'all need to go to True T she has a link uh, and I will need a link also for True T to sign this petition to get rid of these criminals on love and marriage principle. You got Stormy up there and say some kind of uh, the Dominion Freak Incorporated. I don't know what the hell that is that they did, but whatever it is, uh, they got a settlement for twelve, uh, almost $13,000. And uh, so we're talking about Stormy is no different from uh, the Scots. 
they're all the same, you guys. They're all the same. Then we look at Martel. What Martel did, he robbed the ATM machine. So all of my Martel friends, Martel went and recruited all these criminals for that show. They used that show as an opportunity to scam people, allegedly. That's what they used that show for. Now, y'all people went to her party. I can't call it a scam because y'all went to the party. Y'all deliberately gave up y'all money to sit on that line when the woman could not even offer y'all a, a, a thing of water to drink. That's how that's how she felt about y'all. Y'all could pay to sit on her line. She went in and give you a drink of water. You have to pay for a drink of water. I heard that the water was three dollars. What if I know she ain't let all y'all in the bathroom in her house in the bathroom? So what were y'all using? Like y'all had to be in an outhouse. I guess y'all had to rent uh, one of those things because and Storm, you try to pretend like me. Like you were so afraid of, of, of me. Uh and when you had uh, over eight hundred people to come to your home. Not that's your business sitting up there, not up patronizing your business, but 800, you claim it was 800, that's what you say. But y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. I am to love and marriage, Huntsville, and entire cast are criminals. And my message is to, uh, I guess Melody has to do her thing the way she want to do it. But they say that it's a right of strike. So what they're doing now is depending on all these uh, reality shows uh, so that they can uh, make their money. That's how they're doing them. So if I were you, Melody, I would negotiate something for my creation. That's right. Negotiate something right now uh, while, while all these networks back is up against the wall they have nobody writing content for them and uh actually the um they are they are love and marriage Huntsville cast are all trying to get rid of the content creators all of them they trying to get rid of us so yeah like true t said yeah they gonna go before we go that's right. They're going to go before we go. We have to make sure that, sure that they come out to one of us. That means they came out to all of us, y'all. They over there, they got a cease to desist on Anthony. He's a YouTuber. What, what do they hell do they think YouTube is supposed to do? Talk about whatever is going on with these reality stars, these celebrities. That's what we do. That's our job. Anyway, I'm just this is Black Tide Turn and hit that like button, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> right, y'all, this is Black Tide Turn it. <sighs> I'm looking at the traffic, y'all. Okay, y'all, this is uh... a... <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys, this is this is quite serious. This cast that we got here is quite serious uh, um, uh, with the stuff that they do to scam the community. Yeah. Yeah. They, they scam the community and then they use love and, uh, and uh, marriage Huntsville as the vehicle to recruit their clients. Yes, and, they do. Uh, yeah, and allegedly what, what it looked like uh, Stormy doing is sort of like a Ponzi scheme. You know that? Y'all yeah. look up what a Ponzi scheme is. Yeah. Allegedly, that that what she do, you know. What they do, uh, they a few people, a few people, uh, they they do right. So she got to need a few people to, to hang around to testify. Well, yeah, you know, I right. got her product. Her product works well, and then the rest of you, she'll take your money and don't deliver, and don't right. deliver no product. So isn't that the Go Same on. thing where they take your money and and, and say they're gonna you you need so many of people or so you got to get to this level to the next is that a pun? I, I know it's one of them. Is that a, a pyramid? Which one is that? 
Yeah, the pyramid, the Ponzi scheme, they pretty much the same. Same were. Well, yeah, exactly. the pyramid, yeah. Work your way up and you never get there. And then they have a few people at the top and they love to be flashing cars and money and houses like they live here and live there. They're probably living on, on, all on the same roof. It says that a Ponzi scheme is a form of fraud that lures investors. Investor will be the people like like us that give her, her give her our money to them, and in return, you're going in, in return you're going to give me this product, right? Oh, okay. I invest in your company. You're going to give me this product. You take my money, but I never do get the product. And you keep on taking money and you keep on building up your company. But every once in a while now, you got to come through for somebody else because you do need people to testify that I got my products. I'm very satisfied. So that'll keep, if you notice her, she always got a new something coming out. She got a new something coming out. She might have one or two two people to say, yeah, I got my products and I'm very satisfied, right? right. Then she had like 200 of them. They didn't get their product. She got the money, but they didn't get the product. Yeah. This is allegedly, but all yeah. you got to do is go to the credit bureau, uh, the Better Business Bureau, and you will see exactly what they're saying. According to the Better Business Bureau, it's over 200 some people has not gotten it, just, just, just complaining about they didn't get their products. And it go far back in four years, some of them. Y'all go back many years. Not just since yeah. she's been on the show. It's not just because she's been on the show and everything. Most people think it's, uh, that she started having problems and all the issues when she came Part of the show, a person uh, that that would be too dramatic. All of a sudden, you 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 just falling behind on everything. Uh, can't pay this person. Can't deliver this. These orders, that many orders, don't just back up. Just over one little uh, being on the show for uh, for the first time, a couple uh, shows. No, those orders been backed up. You just never paid them. You just still trying to uh, pay Paul to. Uh, and keep your lifestyle going on other people's back, you know. Yeah, that's and just I, my take. I will keep y'all updated because her court date with me. I'm gonna stay on them. I call them every day. Ooh, Man, yeah. if she would have been in Atlanta, they would have been picked that girl up. This place right here is lousy when it comes to. Uh, they got it wrapped up. She posing, posing with my tail buddies up there when they went up there to her. Her party, they supposed to have arrested her then. Right. They supposed to, but they didn't. So I just got to stay on them one day. One day they'll, they'll do somebody going to take me serious. Yeah. One yeah. day somebody going to get a y'all. But I I, re, I I got my my uh, I got my warrant out for her and one day we're going to we're going to have a court date. And I'm not having no mercy on her neither. Right. Now, she, they were scheduled to grab her ass today. I thought I was so happy. That I was going to be able to film her coming out that courtroom and they were going to handcuff her coming out the courtroom. But uh, she didn't. She had already was one step ahead of me. She took care of her the day before. And I'm sure they put all that into consideration too, that that yeah. that she'll probably get grabbed in, in the courtroom because I had arranged that she get grabbed right there after they got finished doing what she needed to do. They were ready to grab her ass. But she showed up the day before. Yeah, she showed up the day what before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They And somebody just sent me a cash app. Uh, who was that? It, it came on my, my, my phone and disappeared. Thank you, whoever you were. And I'm going to get off the phone. I'm going to say shout out to the nurses out there, y'all. He The nurse is out there with my brother, and he get confused. Oh, okay. So I need okay. to be out there with him, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he's he, he, he doing something with him right now, but I got to get off so I can go out there and make sure that, you know, I may be to answer questions. Right. So I'm going to say hi to Trinia at some point. Thank you for being here. Thank you for whoever you were that just sent me the cash. Yeah, it disappeared. Let me see. Let me go to my phone. I'd like to acknowledge y'all, whoever you were. And I'm going to do a shout out. Um, 
Black Titanic do that. Mary Williams, thank you. Uh, she said the Fletchers are the only a really, really wealthy male in the Fletchers are the wealthy uh, people. Hold it, show. hold it. I found it. Stephanie English, thank you. I found it. Thank, thank you for the cash. Go on, go on, go on uh, Pinky. Pinky, yeah. go on. Okay. Trending at, at some point, thank you. Uh, for also showing up, and I, I see that you say a pastor party sounds uh, like a, is that a fry festival? <laughs> yes, we need to have one here. Yes. <laughs> yes. And we'll have, uh, we can let the dogs out then, too. They can, they uh, patrol the uh, property, make sure nobody shouldn't come here that shouldn't be. <laughs> and uh, we're going to uh, be going, guys. Uh, Renita uh, D. Elliott, thank you for showing up. Uh, Patricia T. Uh, let me see. Uh, Miss Veronica, thank you. Talking out loud, Linda Gamble is in the house today. Uh, Trish, uh, wait a minute. Oh, talking out loud minute. as a content creator, thank you. Talking out loud for being here. Yes, and thank for you the for talking creator. out loud. Yeah, and shout out to all the content creators in the house, and thank you all for all showing up. And like Titanic, got to go take care of uh, what's going on with her brother, just in case I, uh, they have any questions and everything. But uh, we're going to uh, continue. I think I may do something tonight because I want to talk about uh, Martel's brother being arrested. And don't forget about the, uh, if you want a copy of this petition, uh, this, that Black Titanic, she's going to have it up for you all so you can, and please share it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, resend this to it because we're freezing. So look forward to come through on another uh, on another slide, y'all, when I get yeah. through. And I'm going to put it up, the paperwork up there, so y'all be able to copy for those content creators that want to have the. It's come from the District Court of Madison County. Y'all, 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 you can't see it too good on this. So okay. I'm going to put it up for y'all. And okay. I want to read this right here by Simone. Okay, Stormy, uh, business practices are very much uh, sketchy and should stop uh, trying to cheat other businesses out of their money. That is true. That's a good statement. Yes. And, and, and my thing is to Tisha also, that's very deceiving of you. Yeah. So if you got Stormy product, if though if you know that that's the product allegedly, where the health department told her that she could not sell those products, then you take it, put your label on it, and sell this this unhealthy product to the to to children. That's who you selling it to, right? That that product that the health department shut down, you turn around and, 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 and put your children's name on it and want and put it in the stores for little kids to put on their head. Allegedly, I don't know if that's that pro if that's that's what it but, is. But just in case if it is, they can make their hair fall out. They can anything can happen. I'm not a doctor or yeah. anything, but yeah, think about the anything can happen. Think about these people, children, if you try if, if that's the product that you done got. But I, I remember they don't we, care about children. I forgot we're talking to the Scots. Y'all, y'all, all y'all scammers. Every last one of y'all on that show sell for Mel and the Fletchers and the Whitlows. Whitlow. And, and you yeah. notice those are the ones that they show less of. Right. And Kiki. Yeah, Kiki not no scam. Oh, yeah, another thing, Kiki. Wow, I'm glad you said that. They are they they be putting out all this stuff to the content creator really bad about Kiki, especially Tisha, allegedly. But the content creator will not dog Tisha out, Keisha out like that. And you need to know that. You need to know that 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 Keisha. I mean, yeah, Keisha. That's mm -hmm. what they're doing for you. They're going to the content creator, putting out bad stuff on you for us to put out. But we know we got your back. And see, if you see that, they accuse Tiffany of being the one to expose the, is that a Home Depot that on the American Most Wanted or whatever. But somebody, somebody else was behind that too. Right. So, and that's what they're doing for T, for, for this girl. See, they, they but, come after you one by one, like they did Mel. They, all of them came after her. Now they're coming after Kiki. Then Tiffany, 
if you don't watch your eyes and put that third eye up to here, you're going to be next. Mm-hmm. What did this one say? I'm trying to get this one up. Hold it. This one. We just seen for, it. Uh, keeping us informed. Can you see it? Opinion. Yes, thank you. Kama has no expiration date, family. Uh, Greta Lee said that. Okay. So some of this stuff I can't see. This, wait a minute. I can see this one about the birthday. Wait a minute. Hold it. Let's see if it'll pop up. Do you see something about Vivian uh, about the birthday? That's Valerie. Uh, okay. What did it say? Okay. Uh, let me just find uh, find her right quick uh, while I'm looking for that. Uh, Valerie, that's what uh, their birthday party was for, to get the money, to pay them people. Yes, that's allegedly. Yeah. yeah. At first, you I know what? Know who's going to have a party like that? Yeah. The, to me, uh, uh, that's what I first heard uh, here for the hot tea said that for real. And then when I got there, I'm like, you know what? That girl was on or something because when I got up there and they had paid, they paid them people off. They paid them off. Yeah. So she wouldn't have to go to court. She knew if she went to court that I was going to be there. I was going to grab her ass. Had them <laughs> grab her ass. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I was going to have her grab her. Had that camera right up there when they handcuffed her. Them policemen were ready. <laughs> Next time I'm going to send Bella the Husky so he can spend the weekend with you. So that way, when you have to go to court, just just take Bella. Bella, I'll get her. Okay, uh, she's speaking to you, Pinky. Bravo, uh, Addiction. Uh, hey, uh, Pinky. Hello, Pinky, the housewife. This is from Bravo Addiction. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for, for the hands and the hearts. I love my hearts. Hey, y'all, what's the scene in Ben? I ain't seen her in a while. Let me see. I know Cecilia and I always join us yeah, on Patricia it. I said, God bless you, Miss Black Titanic. What well, thing? Yeah. Some of the stuff I can't see is, is freezing. Well, okay, I'm here. I'm okay, here. I'm going to get ready to go, y'all. I really got to go because the nurse out Yeah, here, she got to go. Uh, she got to go, ready. guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I'll be Bye -bye. looking for this a little later. Uh, this paperwork yeah, I'm gonna right here. I'm going to do something a little later because I need to talk about Martel's brother. Yeah, for the content creator that want this, I'm gonna put it up for you guys. Y'all welcome to it. And um don't forget y'all, y'all, we gotta support True T. Y'all forget yes, to sign up that, that yes, petition, go to True T. Uh and it's and then another, or you can go to here for the hot tea where she mm -hmm. talk about storming her court date. She got the link on there, and I got the link on my last two lives too. So Anyway, you guys, we got to stick together. Bye and thank okay, y'all. Bye bye. And thank you, ADR, from showing up in the house. Well, ADR, well. you yes, see you ADR. Guys. ADR, bye bye. Man. bye, -bye. ADR. Y'all make sure you come to my uh, my live today, tonight at five. I think maybe five or five thirty. Five. Yeah, she's a five o'clock okay. person, y'all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Talk about Martel's uh, brother. Yes, I am. Yeah. We're gonna talk about that scalawag. Okay. Bye, everybody. Wait a minute. Okay. Let me thank everybody for the cash app. Yeah. Thank for okay. the support. Thank, you guys. thank bye all bye. the content creator for being here. Bye, y'all. Okay, bye-bye.